This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Want to see something? Look at this. <laughs> and this isn't even all of it. A manga box set can be defined as a set of manga that has been released after one buys all of the single volume, so then you have to rebuy it because it's a nice collector's item and I've already... For the last decade, both anime and manga have been exploding onto the market. Now enter the pandemic. In 2021, according to IVC2, shows that manga sales rose over 171%, while Bookscan is saying that the total graphic novel sales in the United States are just dominated by the manga market. However, in this video, we're gonna be talking about box sets, specifically my box sets, because I've spent over a thousand dollars on these things. I have a lot to say on them, plus I've gotten a lot, so I'm gonna give you guys a full update on my entire manga box set collection. I actually have all four of the box sets that have been released, but they're not all inside of, uh, well, the box sets. They are behind me, which you can see right here in the corner. There's a reoccurring theme that you're gonna see in today's video where some of my box sets are actually on my shelves that are displayed, and a lot of them go through rotation depending on what I'm reading. Now, all four of these box sets start at volume one and go all the way to volume 90, which is the first volume for Wano. However, One Piece is one of the manga industry's biggest series, and the fact that these box sets only come with the standard little collectible booklet and those heavily folded up posters that I've never seen anyone actually put up. I'm not saying it's a bad experience. In fact, just a second ago, I told you that these were worth it, so it definitely is not a bad experience. I mean, come on, it's One Piece. However, you will see in later box sets in this video, as a collector, I love the little things, and I would love to see something unique in these box sets, like either an exclusive keychain, a patch, or something to that tune. Overall, I dropped hundreds of dollars for the ability to not only display one piece as art, as you can see behind me in my house, but I wanna be able to read all of one piece physically in single volumes, and this is just the best way to do it in my opinion. Okay, before this video goes along any further, I wanna ask you guys, okay, is there a series out there, in your opinion, okay, in your humble opinion, that deserves a box set? Mine, right off of the bat, I'm gonna tell you right now, I would love a Doro Hidoro. I'm wearing my Doro Hidoro shirt right now. I have Doro, Doro Hidoro behind me, excuse me. I would love to see a box set for Doro Hidoro. I don't know if I'll ever get one, probably not, but what would be that series to you? Next is Bleach, and I have all three of the box sets which took quite a long time for me to collect. These can be sometimes harder to find than you would think. Sure, you might readily be able to go find them on Amazon now, but especially during the pandemic, these things were very much sought after and it was very rare to get one at full retail price. In fact, you could probably say that about a lot of the series here that we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Now, the Bleach box set's complete in three. So one piece, it just goes to show you, there's four box sets out right now and that just goes up to the beginning of Wano. For sure, there's gonna be a fifth box set. This is three and done and I'm not saying that lightly. The Bleach box sets are pretty nice. Okay, they're standard in the same way that the One Piece box sets are, where you're only going to get a collector's booklet and a poster that comes along with them. There's nothing crazy in that regard, but there is something else. Because these are such collector's items, the fact that a couple of them are in vertical storage, that means a lot because it just adds that depth and just complexity to my collection, especially when someone's looking at it, like when they come over and how it's displayed on my bookshelf. Next, is Claymore. This series is so good. Claymore is a seinen series that is often compared to as the female version of Berserk. While there are similarities, Claymore is definitely its own thing. It's a really good read and I'm just about finishing up Claymore here and that's why these are actually, this, this box that's empty, these volumes are up on the shelf right now. Long story short, I highly recommend a Claymore and this is one where I'm not really going to complain about the booklet and here's why. The booklet that comes with Claymore is actually Actually, it's pretty thick for what it is, and it's an art book. It's also kind of not safe for work. If you know, you know. Dude, you guys are gonna kill me. I, <laughs> I haven't read Dragon Ball yet. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I have a problem where, well, I mean, I, I, I have many problems, but. I, my problem is if I like a series enough, I mentally buy all of it 
in my head, okay? And I, I don't know if you guys are like that. Maybe I'm just the weird one here, but I buy the entirety in my head and it's like, okay, box sets make that so much worse because I could just be like, oh, instead of having to collect all of Dragon Ball in the singles or all of Dragon Ball Z in the singles, I could just buy those box sets and then, wow, we wind up with, with this. So these are gonna be something that I probably read this summer. I am in the process of like moving we're looking for apartments right now and that that's a whole thing in LA where it's crazy but I think once things settle down probably after anime expo I'll probably sit down and read Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z let's start with Dragon Ball the complete box set and the iconic red spines man these look so good okay in Dragon Ball the box set right here this one's pretty cool this isn't just like a random character guidebook this one actually has interview questions from Akira Toriyama so that one is pretty cool okay and then of course you're gonna get the standard double-sided poster that it comes with look at this this looks so good next is the Dragon Ball Z box set and that is so iconic I like how the spine make a picture right now oh it's so cool standard things that come with this box set again you get a little booklet and you also get the double-sided poster okay I would like something else from the Dragon Ball franchise okay with these box sets maybe like if you buy both of them at the same time or no that doesn't make any sense a lot of you guys know that I am going to Japan in October and that's gonna be just so much fun I'm trying not to get too excited but I did tell the folks over at Tokyo Treat and Sakura Code that I am going to Japan and they sent me something special. Okay, so I told Tokyo Treat and Sakura Code that I'm going to Japan this year. So they sent me some snacks directly imported from Japan. I literally had to tell him not to eat so many snacks at once. Why are you laughing? Here, what is this? Thousand Samurai Precision Manju. What? We're back. It looks good though. Oh! Both Tokyo Treat and Sakuraka are monthly curated snack boxes made from local snack makers in Japan delivered straight to your door. The theme for this month with Sakuraka is Heritage Nikko, the gorgeous town of Nikko in Japan. It also comes with a traditional Japanese wrapping cloth, which is machine washable and dryable for continued use. This snack is from Okinawa and okay. it's a potato chinsuko. Chinsuko. Oh! Oh, it's crunchy. I'm gonna try the Waka Ayu marshmallow. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, here. Here. Oh, this is cute. Try it. Oh, it's a little fishy. Theme this month for Tokyo Treat is Okinawa Seaside Snackin'. This box is meant to give the vibes of the summer in Okinawa. And now for a limited time, you can go ahead and get $5 off whichever box you want by using code Boogie while at checkout. And of course, links will be down below in the description. It's a good fish. It's good fish. <laughs> It's a, for the record, it's a marshmallow. <laughs> okay, next is Demon Slayer. Now with the current season of the anime at the time of recording this video, it is at episode 11 in the Swordsmith Village arc, and it is incredibly well done. So there's a lot of hype around Demon Slayer right now, and I would imagine the sales right now for these box sets are up. Now, regardless of what your thoughts are on Demon Slayer, this box set, this box set's gorgeous. And you get nice uniform black spines as well. And it just looks so nice. Just look at this right here. Now, much like every other box set here, it's gonna come with a poster, but it's also gonna come with a character book, which is pretty standard, except for the fact that halfway through this one, there's actual storyboards that you can take a look at. And I think for anyone that's trying to get into the industry, whether it's animation or becoming a mangaka, anything in between, those are something that's always very helpful to look at, or at least interesting. So there is this one. I have, I don't really have too many complaints. That's something special. And I, I dig that. Now, a lot of you guys might not know this, but I am a huge fan of the legend of Zelda and I've played Breath of the Wild. I've played Tears of the Kingdom and some other previous entries. And I'm just a big fan of the lore. And I picked up the legend of Zelda box set to get just that more lore. It, it used to play a sound when you open up this box set and it just never worked. Even when it was brand new, it just, it just never ever worked. Now, while that is unfortunate, these manga volumes are utterly gorgeous. I mean, look at this. It also comes with a giant poster. Now it's not double-sided, 
but this is a really big poster. Because it's a treasure chest, it's a fun addition to your collection, especially for the friends that you have that maybe don't read manga. They recognize it and it's something you can talk about and maybe they can open up the manga and start reading it. And this is also something really cool because you get to see Link himself have some dialogue. Next, we're gonna talk about is a box set that's near and dear to my heart, which is my Tokyo Ghoul box set. I don't think we're gonna spend a lot of time on this one, so we're quickly gonna move on. I have an entire video dedicated to my Tokyo Ghoul box set video and just recommending it and going over it in a lot of detail. So I'll just link that down below and we're quickly going to move on. Now, moving right along, this is my box set for Princess Jellyfish. This is a series I haven't read before, but has been on my radar for such a long time and it's been recommended to me enough times that I bought it and I bought it for a good deal. I had some gift cards for Amazon and I, I really didn't pay all too much money for this. It comes with a keychain, something standard, something new that we haven't really seen before in today's video. And it's something that I like, especially for someone that might be a huge fan of Princess Jellyfish when they buy this and it's something unique inside of here that isn't your standard little booklet and double-sided poster. They also added that touch of a keychain that can mean a lot to a collector like myself because now this is a collector's item and I have a collector's item keychain. It's just something fun to have. And last but not least is possibly my favorite box set in my entire collection, which is the 35th anniversary box set of Akira. This right here is the definition of a collector's item, at least to myself. The box set is really sturdy. It opens in a unique way. Look at that. You got a top folding box set. They're all hard covers in here and it comes with some very unique things. Not only does it come with art on the inside of the box set itself, which is already really cool, but the box set is thick and it comes with a patch, like a literal patch that you can put on your clothing if you wanted to. Of course, I've kept it like a collector's item. It's sealed, it's, it's put away, but it's really cool that it comes with that and makes it a very unique thing. And instead of a little character book or guidebook with maybe an interview or some storyboard panels or anything like that, it comes with a full hardcover art book. This is so freaking cool to have. The last little touch, the wonderful touch this box set has is protection. The gift of protection where we have a bottom plate. There's nothing on here. It's just this firm little cardboard plate for lack of a better term that slides in right here so you can protect the bottom of your volumes. And that is just very thoughtful. My last opinion on the Akira box set is that this is probably the gold standard of manga box sets. It's, in my opinion, the definition of like a collector's item. It is so nice. All of that being said, we're gonna wrap things up here and there's one thing that I wanna note. Okay, with all of these box sets being released right now, the most recent one in my memory will be the Promised Neverland box set, which is amazing that we're finally getting one. I have no complaints. I think this is great for collectors, especially if they wanna pick up these box sets and haven't gotten a chance to get the singles yet. However, if there's one thing that I would add, it's this. Now, I do not know how this would happen in terms of like the legality or the licensing that would be required to do this. However, in my firm belief, if I buy a box set, let's say I bought all of One Piece or I bought Akira, I bought Dragon Ball, Bleach, so on and so forth, right? I should be able to get access to all of those volumes digitally. Okay, now whether that's pr like a code printed out on a receipt at the time of purchase, whether that's through another means, I have no idea. I don't even know if it's possible, but that's something that I would like to see in the future, okay? Especially with all of these series that now, you know, they're, not only are they expensive, but it can be a ton of volumes. What if I go traveling and I want to continue to read this series or so on and so forth? That's something that I personally would like to see in the future. Finally cooling off as this day is coming along right now. It's it's almost nighttime. Can you believe that? With that being said, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on box sets, like where the industry is at right now, everything that's being announced. Once again, what's one series you would love to see get a box set? Now, if you're like me and enjoy videos like this, I will link my most recent vlog down below where I take you guys out on an IRL adventure manga shopping with me. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and guys, make sure we're hitting that like button. It really does help push this video out to more of the people in our community. It means more than you know. That being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.